Welcome to iRacing in the rain. As if Sebring was not already slippery enough, it is now raining and we are racing GT3 classes around it. Come along as we venture into the unknown together. So the practice session for this was dry, kind of had to use qualifying to learn the track, ended up setting a 2.26.3, which was actually good enough for pole, uh, pretty wild. Uh, I guess nobody had was able to practice as uh, the practice session was dry. Coming across to start the race, we are on pole position, so that's the front row inside for the first corner. The car, space car goes off and we are away, managed to maintain pole position or first position through the first corner coming into this next section and I'm pretty scared I actually went off of the track here during qualifying so really have to be careful into that that corner right there and then coming across you can almost take the racing line here there is a bit of a big puddle kind of right on the apex to the left though so I like to go around it and there you can kind of catch a little dry spot right there and then avoid that puddle on the right as well finally being able to put the power down coming into the huge braking zone you need to brake on the right side or kind of in the middle there there's a massive puddle on the left side and you will just go flying off i still managed to go deep there um holding my position however and you can see a couple of guys going off in the background having trouble this was a deviously hard corner right there there's puddles all over the apexes so you have to totally avoid them once again take an inside line here just because it's dry and I'm taking too much of an inside line here and that'll come back to bite me in the butt later. Avoiding the puddle on the inside of both of those, you can kind of send it through that puddle, you just have to be careful about the car sliding afterwards. Huge puddle on the outside here so you can't really open this corner up too much. Try and get in the middle as much as you can. I do end up actually hitting a puddle on the apex there though. You can see the guy behind avoiding the puddle to the left and then avoiding the puddle on the apex as well so I'm pretty sure that that is the correct line. He closes up a little bit of time to me right there. Another very sneakily uh, dangerous section right here. There's water all on the inside. It's very hard. You really cannot go flat out. You will go flying off of the track, having to brake really early for this right-hander and then taking a dry line all of the way around here, holding it super tight. I know there's a lot of grip there, so I'm using that to my advantage. Um, although it is faster on most of these corners if you just about take the racing line, but it's much more dangerous and I just wasn't ready to risk that yet, especially holding first place at the moment. The high break way too late here, go flying off, hit that cone, take about as wide of a line as you possibly can, losing first place, which means that I am now going to be faced with the spray, just about running my car into the wall there on the left side, and then actually running my car into the wall on the right side. Moving to the left just so I can see where I'm going, trying to get the car slowed down, very difficult right here on this wet concrete. The car just seems to never want to stop totally botch our exit here couldn't really see where we're going go straight into the grass but managed to get the car stopped in time for this corner which is arguably more important um car ahead it goes deep but not really a problem for him he can cut back it is going to compromise his line here a little bit but even when you're taking the racing line you have to slow down so much there that you don't get as nearly as much of an advantage as you would if it were a dry race now i cannot see anything so i'm trying to move to the left so i can get vision of those cones but i still need to stay on the right side because it's drier there the car behind um, takes a really aggressive line here going basically taking the straight straight on through that braking zone and then clipping my tire and I just get spun around and sent back right there. I think I could have given him more space, but I also think he probably could have just slowed down slightly. It was basically just his bumper was on my bumper. Um, so losing three position, three position, I'm not sure how many, but we're down into sixth after this cracking car gets past us. So one, two, three, four, losing five positions. Gonna try and keep up with this pack right here. Coming through to the final bit of the track onto that long straight. He's gonna pull to the left to take the racing line. I actually pull, dive up the inside to find the dry line so I can actually find grip there and take it just about as fast as him. Um, if I weren't there, obviously his line would have been a little bit quicker, but I was able to get my car onto that apex earlier than him and alongside. Breaking a lot earlier into sunset, which is not very sunny at the moment. Taking a tight line all of the way around here. Do not wanna go wide, which 
again, this this is not the fastest line that I just took there, but it is. It felt very safe and very controlled, which I was all about. The Red Bull car ahead going super deep into turn one, so that's going to put us right on his tail as we come on through to the long braking zone here, over slowing the car, just about parking the car, which was something that I tended to do. I tended, I tended, I tend, tend, I, I tended to do that a lot. That's a weird word. I tended to do that a lot, um, just to avoid going into the back of the car ahead because I couldn't see him and I would end up over slowing my car a lot into that same corner. He goes deep once again on the next lap which is going to put us pretty close to him coming into this little infield sector which I felt was my best part of the track so I was trying to take advantage of that right here. He cuts a bit wide here to try and take the racing line. We try and dive up the inside. Managed to just about get alongside of him before making just a little bit of contact and then um, backing out there wasn't really on for myself staying to the left so I can see the cones and then diving to the right to get the dry tarmac there cutting back and this was a fairly decent run probably one of the better runs that I had I managed to stay relatively close to him by the time we got onto the straight and something funny I'm noticing about racing in the rain on these straights you kind of fight for vision so like people will pull in front of each other and then they move and it ends up moving the person behind them because they don't want to be in the spray and you really want to try and find yourself on the outside by the end of of that um that dance that seems to happen a lot and be able to see your braking marker so it's it's a weird strategy game that you have to play something totally new to me this is my first time really ever racing in the rain i did a couple of uh practice sessions on uh or i did one race on uh, brands hatch which was a ton of fun. Coming into the sec the infield sector here, my favorite, and both of the cars in front have kind of slowed down, it looks like, and we're right up onto their tail, or maybe we're going fast, I'm not really sure. By the lap time in the bottom right, it doesn't look too fast. Into the big braking zone, and we finally managed to get it right, going slightly deeper and cutting back for good acceleration all of the way through this next couple of turns. Uh, took a lot of the curve there, which is not optimal, and this next corner coming up, it's hard to see, but this is a very difficult corner. You basically have to lift, maybe sometimes break to avoid doing exactly what I did, flying super wide, coming back onto the track from the grass, and there is grip right there when you re-enter, so I'm able to hold my track position at least in front of the cracking car and chasing back down the Red Bull car. We actually get a pretty good run onto the straight, um, moving to the inside to get vision, he moves there as well to get vision, and then we do the, the little rain dance right here. Uh, the rain is already here though, so there's really no need for a rain dance, yet we do it anyway. Coming into sunset, and I tried to go really wide here, I could see uh, in my mirrors that somebody was flying towards me, and he just loses control behind car number six. Sails across sunset, knocks me out of the way, I collect a couple of cones there underneath my car which would actually, I think they may have stayed underneath my car for the rest of this race. So that puts me down to P8, I believe. Um, somebody ahead would end up wrecking at some point. Cracking car ahead takes a super wide line, running into that puddle on the outside there, uh, which is going to help us catch up a lot. Same thing here, he goes all the way out wide. Looks like he gets a little bit of slippage as he gets onto the power, we do gain a good amount of time there. Red Bull car, a few cars up ahead, is going to send it up the inside into turn one, get turned around, and as he rejoins, you'll see that's us right in front of him. So we gain a position there up into P6 at this point. Somebody else, I believe, has wrecked out ahead of us. So we're looking for a P5. We just have to get around this cracking car. He is definitely feeling the pressure, and this is a part of the track where you cannot afford to be full throttle. You will slide out. I thought he moved to the side for me there uh, because he's the one who hit me, and I thought, oh, that, that was nice, but in reality, he just sl slid out, and uh, we get that position. He then takes a line through the grass. Maybe there's more grip out there. I'm not too sure. Somebody else behind taking a line that I feel is probably not optimal, and we are going to continue on our way with one lap left. We actually close the gap to the cars ahead by not really a significant amount, but we are able to see them, which helps me always to push a little harder and uh, finish out strong. So coming across to finish the race, and it's going to be a P5. Here are the results if anybody wants to see it. For our first race in the rain, I'm pretty happy with the company we're in. These guys seem to be pretty high rated, and the guys at the front, even the guy right in front of me, man, these guys were putting in some fast times. The consensus is I like the rain.